If you try to find a particular solution of a second order linear differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients, you guess the correct form of the solution. If your guess is correct, you find your solution, you're done. But how do you see whether your guess does not work? And how you can find how can you find a better guess in that case? That's what you will learn in this video using the following example. You solve the following differential equation, y double plus y prime minus 2 times y equals 0. First we have to uh, determine the solution of the complementary equation, so y double prime plus y prime minus 2 y equals 0. We substitute y equals e to the power rx, plug it into the differential equation, you get your characteristic equation, you can factorize, uh, your solutions are minus 2 and 1 for r, which means that your uh, complementary solution do equals c1 times e to the power x plus c2 times e to the power minus 2x. End of step 1. On to step 2. Try to find a particular solution. Well, on the right hand side equals x squared, so we could try to use yp equals a times x squared. Let's see what happened. Well, yp prime equals 2 times a times x, and yp double equals 2 times a. We plug all of that into our differential equation, yp double plus y a prime n uh, minus 2 times y equals the right hand side equals x squared. Now uh, on the left hand side we have a polynomial, on the right hand side we have a polynomial, and polynomials are only equal if all their coefficients are equal. So the coefficients in front of the 1 equals 2a, over here coefficients in front of the 1 equals 0 over there, so we have 2a equals 0. Coefficient in front of x equals 2a over here coefficient in front of x equals 0 over there, because there are no x's, so 2a equals 0, second condition, and coefficient in front of the x squared equals minus 2a, and coefficient on the in front of the x squared on the right hand side equals 1, so minus 2a equals 1. So our conditions are 2a equal a equals 0, and 2a equals 0, and minus 2a equals 1, or a equals 0, and a also has to be minus 1 half. That's not possible, of course, so in this case we have no solutions. So now something went wrong. So what went wrong? Well, our initial guess was uh, y particular equals a times x squared. But if you differentiate that, if you plug it into the differential equation, you always get also get terms like x and like constants. So a better guess would be not just take a times x squared, but also take something with x, b times x, plus some constant, and see whether you can find a particular solution of this form. So a bit more complicated, but maybe we are now successful this time. So what happens then? Uh, we compute again y prime and y double. Uh, we plug that into our uh, uh, differential equation. So we have a y double plus 1 times y prime minus 2 times y equals x squared. And again, we compare on the left and right hand side. First the terms with the 1. So we get 2a times 1 plus b times 1 minus 2 times c times 1 equals still 0, of course. So, first condition. Terms with an x, 2 times a times x, and here minus 2 times b times x, and still 0 over there. Okay, second condition. And uh, then the uh, 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 terms with the x squared, minus 2 times a times x squared, and then x squared side, minus 2 times a equals 1. So now we have three conditions, and let's see whether we can satisfy those. Well, the last one gives, of course, a equals minus 1 half. The second one over here gives a equals b, so b also has to be equal to minus 1 half. And the first one then tells you what your c, sh c should be. So you should say take c equals minus 3 quarters. And in this case, we can uh, satisfy all our three conditions, which means that this y particular does work. Uh, we find our y particular minus uh, 1 half x squared minus 1 half times x minus 3 over 4. We have found a particular solution, so we also find our general solution, which is a sum of the complementary e uh, equation and our particular solution.